Uh, let me start with you, Dr. Schmidt. Uh, I represent Ohio's 12th Congressional District, which covers central and southeastern Ohio. Licking County, which I'm proud to represent, <clears throat> is one of the largest clusters of data centers in the country. Google, Amazon Web Services, Meta, QTS, Vantage, and more all over have data centers in central Ohio and my district. In total, power demand from data centers will reach 5,000 megawatts in central Ohio by 2030 based on signed power agreements. Just last month, Williams announced a $1.6 billion investment to build new, two new natural gas fire plants in Licking County with a combined capacity of 400 megawatts. This reliable baseload power generation is critical to meet growing demand in central Ohio. Dr. Smith, in order to alleviate strain on the electric grid, I'm curious what role or involvement you think these tech companies should have in helping to bring in new generation to secure the massive amounts of power needed for their facilities. And how should these companies partner with grid operators or power providers to ensure we can properly account for tracking, growing tracking demand? So uh, when I was at Google, we made a bet on Ohio, and we built the largest data center at the time in the world, which was massive. And I used to go visit it, and so, oh my god. <laughs> the data centers you're describing are 10 times larger than anything I ever built way back when I was doing this only seven years ago. So it gives you a sense of the scale of the investment and what you're doing. The best thing to do is to have a strategy within your state where everybody agrees to solve the energy power problem. We found in working in Ohio that we were able to get access to the high voltage lines that we could not get access elsewhere. Mm -hmm. We built our own substations, which are also massive. That's what it takes. That's what every one of you is going to have to do to have your states be a center for AI, the AI revolution.